So what is the difference between an exchange and a broker? If you're buying cryptocurrency like Bitcoin through an exchange, it's usually the cheaper option. If you buy and sell on a public exchange, you'll actually save on fees. So think of an exchange as a public marketplace. Exchanges don't offer any extra benefits or services. Binance, Gemini, Coinbase, and Kraken are all exchanges. A broker is another way to buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies if you don't want to go through a cryptocurrency exchange. Brokers typically offer service and support that is personalized and comprehensive. Although a broker may charge higher fees than an exchange, the level of service you typically receive is quite different. Most of the time when you're buying Bitcoin through a broker, you are using what is called over-the-counter trading or OTC. This basically means that you are dealing directly with the buyer or seller. This means if you're buying Bitcoin, a broker will find a person who wants to sell their Bitcoin. This is a private deal and the benefits include a bit more anonymity and the actual market price is not impacted as much. When you use a broker, you can typically speak with someone over the phone as well. It is extremely rare to speak with anyone on the phone when you are dealing with the exchanges, which you may end up finding out. Brokers can also offer a range of other services, such as a wealth management plan. Their services include setting up retirement funds and trusts. By using a professional broker, you can also ensure you are tax efficient with your cryptocurrency investments. An experienced financial broker who possesses relevant licenses and years of financial expertise will ensure your success. This can be important when you're building and growing your cryptocurrency investment portfolio, especially if you are starting from scratch. If you plan to purchase a large amount of Bitcoin, then using a broker is definitely a wise decision. I recommend an exchange for people with smaller amounts of money to invest or who want to invest themselves, whereas a broker is for much larger transactions or individuals who want an expert to help facilitate transaction for them. A good broker is Caleb and Brown. This is because they are well-known and established crypto-focused broker, and anyone around the world can use their services. Although you do have to have a minimum order of at least $2,000 per transaction. Their fee structure is built on transaction, so you only pay when you are buying or selling. Any consultations and such are part of the service. Another form of modern cryptocurrency broker are platforms that are self-service and typically a lot easier to use than the average cryptocurrency exchange. They provide very easy to use and intuitive user interfaces. As a result, they do have slightly higher fees. Many of them back into the same liquidity pools as exchanges, so they need to add a small fee on top for themselves. Two examples of these brokers in Australia and New Zealand are SwiftX and EasyCrypto. In this module, you are going to learn how to buy Bitcoin through both an exchange and through a broker. So looking forward to teach you that now.